The Advent Podcast is a daily devotional podcast intended to mute the noise of the holiday season by diving deep into God's Word and renewing our love for the great hymns and carols of faith. Join us daily to light the Advent candles, sing a carol, read scripture, share a reflection, and pray together. This can be done in the car, on the treadmill, or sitting around your family's Advent wreath. You can even partner this podcast with your own family traditions. Now here's Dr. Sterling Allen with today's message. Well, it's that time again. Let's gather around the Advent wreath and light some candles. We light the first candle for hope and the second candle for peace. Let's turn in our Bibles to Paul's letter to the church at Philippi, which is the 11th book of the New Testament. We're in chapter 4, verses 4 through 9. Hear now the word of the Lord. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say it, rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right and whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Whatever you have learned or received or heard from me or seen in me, put it into practice. And the God of peace will be with you. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. Speak to us, Lord. Speak to us in the waiting, the watching, the hoping, the longing, the sorrow, the sighing, the rejoicing. Speak to us by your word in these Advent days. And walk with us until your holy light comes. Amen. Friends, I need to convince you of something very important. You, you are precious in the sight of God. Hear me again. You are precious in the sight of God. You were created for purpose and were given free will to live and love into that purpose or to resign from the God who created you saved you, and sustained you. God did not add you to his kingdom casually or flippantly. He intricately designed you and lovingly introduced you as a perfect thing into a broken world. Your first breath introduced sin into your lungs. And from that moment on, the world worked actively against you. Even before the world turned against you, God was at work for you and is still working for you today. God waits on you to recognize his loving grace at work in you, not just now, but always. When you do recognize that grace at work and accept that it is the love of Jesus radically changing you from the inside out, you experience another degree of God's grace. From that moment on, you begin to process your adoption, not waiting to be adopted, but aligning your life so that it reflects that you have been adopted by your loving Father in heaven and should live as his precious child. That process is another degree of grace at work within you. When you finally recognize that you are an heir to God's eternal kingdom, you will experience the fullness of his glorifying grace, which is embodying Christ's perfect love. Where are you in this journey of faith? To be honest, it doesn't matter where you are, as long as you're moving forward with the power of the Holy Spirit. As God has always been active in our lives, remembering that he knew us before we were knit in our mother's womb, then we must be actively seeking a closer relationship to him through the love of Jesus our Lord. This Advent season, look closer at your faith life. 
and become more active in seeking a strong relationship with your God, your creator, redeemer, and sustainer in one. Once you have a relationship with Christ, you will begin to see glimpses of God's eternal peace. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, master of both the light and the darkness, send your Holy Spirit upon our preparations for Christmas. We who have so much to do and seek quiet spaces to hear your voice each day, we who are anxious over many things look forward to your coming among us. We who are blessed in so many ways long for the complete joy of your kingdom. We whose hearts are heavy seek the joy of your presence. We are your people, walking in darkness, yet seeking the light. To you we say, come, Lord Jesus. Amen.